Hi, so what I'm going to do here is use Macrium Reflect to create a image of this hard drive. Now this hard drive is a 500 gigabyte hard drive and I am later going to restore it on a 250 gigabyte. So I'm going to show you two of those steps. One to back up and image this disk and the other is to restore it on a 250 gig or a smaller hard drive. So let me go ahead and do that. I am going to image this disk and I, I could also clone it if I have another hard drive but because I only have one docking station which fits one hard drive I am gonna image it to the disk first and then I am going to restore it onto my uh, other hard drive by swapping it out on the docking station so I'm gonna go ahead and image it and I'm gonna give it its own name so I'm imaging the entire disk here and let me go ahead and say this is actually my Vostro 330 and I am going to do an A and go to next and I don't want any backups so I am simply going to uncheck all of these and I'm going to click next and I'm simply going to hit finish and this should finish in about a couple of probably about half an hour so you can see here that my hard drive has two partitions one is a 28 megabyte which is the system partition uh, actually it's 28 megabytes used and 100 megabytes and the other partition is 55 gigabytes used and 465 gigabytes and once again I'm going to restore this later on and uh, I'll show you the restore which is just simply dragging and dropping a lot of these drives and uh, basically resizing the partition. Now I do want to note that with these partitions, so for example the system reserved usually does not get a drive letter so I'll show you that also. You see that the first partition has been saved and now it's moving on to the second partition here and it estimates uh, rough, roughly around half an hour now you'll notice with my E drive which is the data drive and the operating system drive here that there is uh, 55 gigabytes used and I'll have to resize this partition and what I'll do is I'll set the drive letter to auto such that when I actually plug this in back into a working computer it simply be the C drive and the system reserve will have no drive letter here so let me pause it here and wait until it gets done you'll notice it's actually fairly speedy here which is merely gonna be about 20 minutes as far as actually storing this onto disk so let me go ahead and pause this video and come back and uh, do the restore. So as you can see this here is nearing its end with the backup. It's at 98% with 20 seconds left. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to the backup tab and actually restore. So what I'm going to do afterwards is take out my original drive from the docking station and actually swapping it with my target disk that I want to overwrite and clone and so in just about a couple of seconds when this is complete so it's 100 percent now and there you go so in just about under 24 minutes 23 minutes the, it was able to copy about 60 gigs, 55 gigs of data and let me go ahead now and swap out the drives and show you how to restore to a smaller hard drive. So I swapped out my 500 gigabyte hard drive for the 250 gigabyte here so you'll notice at the bottom it has the 250 gigabyte. I am going to highlight that particular hard drive and I am going to go up here and click the restore tab and when I click the restore tab it will prompt me to navigate for the image file so I'm going to click browse here 
and I am going to select the image file that I want which is this Volstros 330A and you'll see that it will show the partition here the original partition as you re remember it to be is 500 gigabytes so I'm gonna click that particular one and I am gonna now click this restore image and when I click the restore image it's gonna prompt me for the drive that I selected. Now because I previously selected and highlighted the 250 gigabyte it's what shows up here. If you want to change the target disk just select this different target disk. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to highlight this and click the copy selected partitions. So you'll notice I've highlighted both of these. I'm going to click the copy selected partitions and you'll notice in the bottom here it switched really quickly and it has a warning that the last partition has been shrunk to fit. Now the reason why it's important to click the copy selected partitions with the checkboxes here is that I want to change the partition properties. So what I'm going to do is highlight this particular partition. I'm going to click restore partition properties and I want to set this to none because that is my system reserved partition that I don't want showing up in Windows and uh, just keep in mind that uh, the other properties of the partition should remain the same so I'm gonna click OK so you'll notice up here the original one has the active partition and this should also be active which once again it is active now for the other partition I'm gonna click and I'm gonna highlight you'll notice there's an underscore here when I highlight the partitions I am gonna click restore partition properties and for this particular one I am gonna select auto because I don't want it to be the E drive. When I was cloning it, it was the E drive, but I want it to be the C drive. So I'm going to click Auto here. And once again, I'm going to leave that as the primary partition, which matches the original properties of the original partition. So once again, that when I was copying it, this was the E drive, and this particular system reserved was the Q drive. What I want it to be is None and Auto, meaning that this partition will not appear as a drive, and because it's simply this system reserved is simply a boot partition and then the auto will come up as a C drive instead of an E drive so once I've done that I can click next and it will start copying my partitions now if you were doing a smaller partition into a bigger hard drive you could actually drag and resize the partitions or you could go into restore partition properties and actually resize it here manually um, but in my case I don't have to do that because I am going from a larger hard drive to a smaller hard drive so what I'm going to do now is click next and simply click finish and it will simply overwrite my 250 gigabyte hard drive with the image file and I should be all set and yes it, it will prompt me for the warning because those were my originals that I, I, I it was not a bare drive I should have also just deleted those partitions and now it is simply going to copy from the image file here to the partition to the newer hard drive and you'll notice this is the master boot record file system that it's copying um, and this should be done probably in also another 20, 20 minutes or 25 minutes and but that's really it that's really what I wanted to show and I hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching